it's really imperative to me that my work that I create like makes people feel good. I think I was really looking, I mean, it's sort of cheesy to say, but I, I think I was really looking for freedom. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think, I don't know, like sometimes I can think of myself as such a, you know, like I'm so self-concerned. Am I okay? Is this okay? Am I, am I, am I making an issue, a problem, whatever? Um, like, what do I seem like? And I just didn't, I didn't want to live with those questions anymore. I wanted to understand those answers for myself, but to stop asking those questions, which I just felt were so, um, they were like really, really holding me back and keeping me as a certain type of person, like pretty mm -hmm. limited. So I felt like I just want to end up with a book that that does make people feel good. It's really imperative to me that my work that I create like makes people feel good in the same way mm -hmm. that a chef wants their food to taste good. Like the weird chefs are the ones that like their food looks beautiful, but you're like, Ugh. like how do I eat this like twig with like foam? Yeah, you know, like <laughs> I was gonna say foam. Yeah, All this foam. foam. You know, like, and I'd probably bring that up because we've been, we've been watching chefs table. Um, and like, there was, there's just like one chef that's like, you know, like curdled pig brain with colostrum or something. And you're just like, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> like you did it, but why? Um, so I, think <laughs> I really like, I wanted it to be something that other people could read and be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that or oh, like, like just how when you see something in nature and you like are reminded that the world itself is a miracle, like I just wanted people to feel alive. And, mm -hmm. um, and I wanted the book to just show me myself as I know myself and then like to feel free because of that. And I, and I do think it did that for me. Mm -hmm.